So today we are going to create a height map using 3D Studio Max and we are going to import it into Unity and somehow magically change it into a Unity terrain. So let's start with a regular height map. I have this height map of Pulau Langkawi, one of the islands in Malaysia. So the first thing that you want to check is the resolution of the height map. In this case, the magic number is 1081 times 1081. Keep this number in your mind because we are going to need it later. So the first thing that you need to do is to create a plane and change the width and length to our magic number which is 1081 change the segments to in this example I use 300 but you can use less I use 300 because I want the best detail for it Now go to the modifier tab and select this place. Okay, now you go and select the bitmap, find your height map, and increase the strength. And as you notice, the terrain starts to be displaced and start to take shape and it depends on you on how much height do you want for it and look we now have a terrain <laughs> nice right okay so now you can take a look at that terrain see it in full glorious details the next thing that you need to do is to export it as an fbx file drag and drop the FBX that we have just exported so now go use our good friend Google and find object to terrain scroll down and copy the C-sharp script create a new script and name it object to terrain it should be exactly the same name now open the script select all and paste now we have the object to terrain script ready. Next we are going to create a unity terrain and use it as a guideline. So go to game objects, create the object terrain. Now go to the settings for the terrain, scroll down, adjust the terrain width and terrain height to our magic number which is 1081 and 1081. Bear in mind though that this is not our final terrain, we are just using this terrain as a guide so that we can resize our imported terrain properly. As you can see, we have imported our terrain but we can't see it anywhere. So where is our terrain? There it is, it's very small. If you convert that into a terrain, you would even get one tree on top of it. So the next thing that we need to do is to resize our imported terrain keep resizing until it matches our guideline terrain
And now, our terrain is the same size as our guideline terrain. If your terrain is too high poly, what would happen is that Unity will break them up into different different parts. But that is not a problem. We can still generate terrain out of it. Select a terrain, go to terrain, object to terrain, and click convert to terrain. Select the newly created terrain, move it and place it beside the imported terrain so that we can see the shape matches. Let's rename the terrain to avoid confusion. Now repeat the same process for the rest of the mesh parts. So now we can use our newly generated terrain as a unity terrain. You can then delete the old terrain. And now we can decorate and do whatever we want with our new terrain.